Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Hello my fellow intuitive minds and welcome to the video. I hope you enjoyed the first part in this series. Be sure to watch that as we'll be making use of the techniques employed there. Okay, so on to the video. Today we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions. Now what you will notice is that the format and the rules that we use for both adding and subtracting are exactly the same. The only difference is when it literally comes to either adding or subtracting. Okay, so there are two scenarios that we need to consider and we should always check to see which one of these exist. So the first scenario or the first case is when we have fractions of the same denominator. In this case, it's really simple. We keep the denominator as it is. So the new denominator will be the original denominator and the new numerator will just be either the addition or the subtraction of the two numerators. So for example, if we have the fractions one over two plus three over two, we first check to see if the denominators are the same, in which case they are. So the new denominator becomes over two and the numerator will just be the addition of 1 plus 3. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. So the new fraction becomes 4 over 2 or 4 divided by 2, which in this case is just 2. Let's take a look at another example. Consider the fractions 12 over 5 take away 7 over 5. First we check to see if the denominators are the same and yes they are. So that becomes a new denominator over 5 and for the new numerator we just take the subtraction of 12 take away 7. 12 take away 7 equals 5 so the new fraction becomes 5 over 5 which is the same as one whole. What if we have mixed numbers this time? So what if we had 2 and 4 fifths plus 1 and 2 fifths? So as we did in part 1, whenever we have mixed number fractions, it's always easier to convert these into improper fractions and then work with them. So 2 and 4 fifths converting into an improper fraction becomes 14 over 5 and 1 and 2 fifths becomes 7 over 5. Now, since the denominator is the same, that becomes our new denominator again, over 5. And for the new numerator, we just add 7 to 14. So 14 plus 7 equals 21. So the new fraction becomes 21 over 5, or as a mixed number, 4 and 1 fifth. What if we were to subtract these fractions instead? So instead of 14 over 5 plus 7 over 5, we had 14 over 5 take away 7 over 5. In which case, the denominator would still be the same, over 5, and the new numerator would be 14 take away 7, which is 7, so the new fraction would be 7 over 5, or as a mixed number, 1 and 2 fifths. Let's now take a look at the case when we have fractions of different denominators. In this case, we multiply each numerator by the opposite denominator and we also multiply both the denominators together so that we have one common denominator. After which, since the denominators have now become the same, we can follow the same principles as we did earlier, where we now just add or subtract the numerators. So for instance, if we consider the fraction 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4, so what we do first is we cross multiply each numerator by the opposite denominator so the 4 comes up and multiplies by the 1 so 1 times 4 is 4 and the 2 goes up multiplies by the 3 so 3 times 2 is 6 the plus sign stays the same and we also multiply the two denominators so 2 times 4 is 8 so we have 4 plus 6 over 8 which equals 10 over 8 let's take a look at another example so we had 5 over 3 take away 7 over 5. As in the previous example, we cross multiply the opposite denominators with the opposite numerators. So we bring the bottom 5 up and multiply by the top 5. So 5 times 5 equals 25. And we bring the bottom 3 up and multiply by the top 7. So 7 times 3 is 21. So on the top, we have 25 minus 21. And at the bottom, we have the common denominator of 3 times 5, which is 15. So the new denominator becomes over 15. And the top becomes 25 minus 21 which equals 4 so the new fraction becomes 4 over 15 let's take a look at working with mixed numbers so consider the fraction 2 and 3 quarters minus 1 and 2 thirds so as we did before we must convert these into improper fractions so 2 and 3 quarters becomes 11 over 4 and 1 and 2 thirds becomes 5 over 3 so the new sum is 11 over 4 minus 5 over 3 since the denominator is different, we must cross multiply. So 11 times 3 equals 33 and 5 times 4 is 20 and the new denominator becomes 
4 times 3 which is 12. So we have 33 minus 20 all over 12. So 33 minus 20 is 13. So the new fraction becomes 13 over 12 or 1 and 1 12th. What if we were to add these fractions instead? So we would have had 11 over 4 plus 5 over 3. In which case, we would get 33 plus 20 all over 12. So 33 plus 20 is 53. And the denominator is the same, which is over 12. So the new fraction is 53 over 12. Or 4 and 5 twelfths. And that's all there is to it. As a side note, you should pay attention with the order with which you subtract fractions. For example, 2 over 5 minus 4 over 5 equals minus 2 over 5, so we get into negative fractions, whereas 4 over 5 minus 2 over 5 equals 2 over 5, which is positive. So you should be wary about the order with which you are subtracting fractions. Okay, so try and have a go at adding and subtracting fractions so that you can get the hang of it. And let me know how you got on in the comments below. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it helpful. The more people engage, the more people like, the more they comment, the more they share, the more we can help each other and the more we can collectively become intuitive minds. If you enjoyed the contents of this video then smash that like button, do leave a comment on how you got on and if it helped you at all. Share with anyone who you think this may benefit as we want to create awareness and help raise awareness by helping others reach a better understanding of how to do this work and it would also help with the YouTube algorithm and do subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and other motivational videos so together we can educate, innovate and actuate. And if you want to become a part of the Intuitive Minds Collective, you can check out the brand new Intuitive Minds store which is full of the latest limited edition designs for t-shirts and hoodies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.